What's going on everybody? Figured I'd do a little shop walkthrough real quick. It's pretty dirty. Definitely need to go through it here pretty quick and get it all clean, but figure maybe do this video now and then maybe after I get it all cleaned up. tell it's a shop that gets used more than it does cleaned <laughs> I'm trying to tell where I started already but let's get in there one section at a time go ahead and let me know down below what you think my little grinding area here 2 by 72 inch of course you gotta have the 6x36, the jet, this old school homemade grinder that I found at a yard sale. Sandblasting in bead blasting cabinets. My old band saw that the blade broke on me and unfortunately I haven't been able to get a blade yet but I'm gonna be getting one here in the next couple of days for this next project. But few of my Harbor Freight tools sitting over here. The one by 30 inch and the little uh, bench grinder they got. This is my one by 42 that I, I use occasionally but not too often. My favorite grinder of course I'm sure looks real familiar to you guys. It's a Wilton square wheel 2 by 72 inch grinder that comes with an 8 inch in diameter contact wheel. It's real easy to switch them out real fast and do all kinds of cool stuff with this thing. Unfortunately for you guys that have been wondering why my grinder is always set up like this with the flat plate instead of being straight up and down, it's because of my bearing went out up here on this top wheel. So I'm forced to set it up where I'm only using the bottom wheel, which it works and it's forced me to adapt my beveling techniques. but. <laughs> It definitely still does the trick until I can get a new bearing for that guy. Alright. Here's my... Organize all my small stuff, but it's all out on the table at the moment. All my handle material over here. And then my little machine shop area back here. This is Grizzly Mill. Definitely a good little mill for the money. All my collets and everything, all the mills it takes, definitely have a good collection of them. And that's the, where's it say on here? All right there. The G0758, little manual mill, definitely works pretty good. Also have a little grizzly lathe over here that I've been kind of fighting ever since I got it but slowly figuring it out and sorry about the lighting it's a little dark in here there's my drill press and a pile of tools this area still needs to be organized <laughs> but. few of my knives that I've made some of them are more recent some of them are a little bit older just held on to them because I either liked them or they didn't sell a lot of them I liked and I really didn't want to sell but and speaking of which for the guys that don't know I have not been taking custom orders at all for the last couple of months as a matter of fact this guy right here is my last custom order I'm sure you recognize him finally getting into the customer but go ahead all of these knives I have right here go ahead and give you a better look real quick I 
I'm going to be posting all of these up for sale for all you guys that are interested in a knife. A lot of them I'm going to be posting on Facebook and I'll make sure I have a link down below in the description for you guys to check it out. But in some of them I will be posting also on the website. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first one we got here, solid integral knife. Has both of my markings, a signature, it's ADCR V2, high carbon steel, and then my Jake's logo. This knife has a hollow grind on both sides, including the tip. Trying to get it to focus here. There we go. nice and heavy and this knife would last you a lifetime these are some of my favorite designs the integrals I've only made five of them so far and I'm sure you guys recognize it from the knife that I carry personally which is also an integral design a little different than this one but I've only made five so far and there's three of the five coming up for sale right now I haven't wanted to get I did really didn't want to get rid of any of them but coming Christmas time I know a lot of you guys are real interested in knives so figured maybe let you guys check them out the next one is also ADCR V2 it has a fullet or a blood groove the Bowie point I milled out the handle on both sides it's in reverse also has my markings by the way this is a Cerakote finish I forgot to mention that on this guy here this is a burnt bronze Cerakote this one's the black oxide black. Also has a hollow grain. Really nice knife. This is probably one of my favorites for sure. But by far my favorite is this guy. Put a lot of time into milling them out with all the grooves and holes and everything. Has a hollow grain. It's cerakoted with the black or the I forgot the name of the red that's in here, but it's all Cerakote. The engraving is inside the round groove here, see if I can get to focus on it. Doesn't seem to want to. Well, I'll do it for a second there. This is definitely a nice knife, extremely comfortable. It also comes with a very custom sheath, probably one of the nicer ones that I've ever made. This knife I am really not wanting to sell, but I'm going to go ahead and put it up anyway can't hang on to all of them and I got too big of a collection so all right now we got this guy here mirror polished 5160 has some custom file work this handle here is actually homemade and I made it with construction paper and alumilite resin Turned out very cool. It has a flat grind, the drop point. Definitely a nice knife. Comes with a pretty cool fancy sheath here as well. And I got these two here, so they're the same shape. One's high carbon and one's 440C. This one's 1095. This one has a flat grind on it. And this one has a hollow grind with a black oxide Cerakote also. Both of these are homemade handle materials. This one's also the paper. It's red and black. It's real hard to see the red lines, but they're there. Nice little skin and knives or just general purpose EDCs work great. 
All right. And we got just a nice little utility here. Mirror polished, handmade handle material, stainless steel pins. It's made out of 1095. Has a flat grind. This thing's a little razor blade. Works great, nice and lightweight. Perfect gift for somebody. All these knives are. Make great gifts. And last but not least is this guy here. This is a little backpacker, 1095, with a burnt bronze Cerakote on a paracord wrapped handle. Has a flat grind. Just a nice, simple, cheaper knife. More of the everyday style knife. Well, if you're interested in any of these knives, I'm going to go ahead and be getting them posted as soon as I can. I'll be posting most of them on Facebook and as many as I can get on the website. It takes me quite a while to get them on the website, so I'm probably going to do most of them on Facebook. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, and please let me know if you're interested.